Welcome back for another one guys. Today what we're going to be doing is getting the old PPF wood duck put together. I got another one and long story short is I filmed this whole video without having the microphone on. So I'm going to do my best to put this together and hopefully I can just voice over quite a bit of it. But here it is. This is the PPF wood duck. It is an American made mud motor kit. This is my second one. Got two layout boats. We got to have two motors and uh, put the Harbor Freight six and a half horse on there and the kit came from PPF Mud Motors up in Minnesota. So I hope you guys enjoy this little video of me putting it all together. So first things first, we got to get everything unboxed. We've got the handle, we've got the uh, drivetrain kit part, a nice hat comes in it too, and some stickers and accessories that need to go with it. So first things first, we need to get the motor mounted onto the tail. So this is kind of a tricky part to do because there's a little key that needs to stay in place and slide in there. And then we got four bolts that we're gonna be running through and attaching it to the motor. So all you gotta do is kind of wiggle it around, take your time. I found that kind of propping it up with a couple two by fours helps get that right angle to where it'll slide right in. I mean, you just have to be perfect to get that thing lined up and in there. So once you get that in there, you can see me kind of trying to wiggle it into place, trying to keep that key on there and it just kind of slid right in there. Now I got to take these four bolts and run them through the kit and into the case of that motor there. So I'm going to run all four of those in ready tidy, get them on in there. And now I'm going to go ahead and mount the bottom of the motor to the kit with this one bolt slides right in nice and easy and you just screw that on nice and tight. Now we just tighten everything down to the German torque rating of guten tight, and then we're gonna move on to the next step, which is a little bit tricky. You can see me here, I'm showing you guys what we all did. We got the four bolts in there, but now what we have to do is unscrew a couple of these set screws, and what we're gonna do is add some red Loctite to them. So you can see me doing that right here. We're putting red Loctite on there and we're gonna get it in there nice and tight. And there's two of those that you have to do. So I'm running one in and then I'll do the next one right after that. Now we're gonna attach the handle which slides right into place. And you take your T-pin, throw it in there and uh, it's ready to rock. Now we get to move on to setting up all the kill switch which is pretty easy. It's all pretty straightforward the way that uh, they've got that wired up. You just plug it in. And now I'm gonna run the throttle in here. We're just kind of playing with that, getting it nice and tight, right place there. And uh, now we go into the throttle body here. And this is the tricky part. You want it to be nice and tight, not a lot of slop in it. And so it took me a bit of a try to do it, but all the instructions on this motor kit are just super straightforward. So you can see I used some vice grips there to hold on to that cord so I can get it tightened down right. But there we go. It's it's a snappy little son of a gun. I got it nice and tight there. And all I'm doing now is just cleaning up all the excess wires here. And then we'll move on to the part that I am just kind of a little bit nervous about every time I do it. Uh, we've got to grease this up. I want to make sure I get it nice and nice and greased up. We don't want any wear and tear. But then we have this shrink wrap that we have to heat shrink on there. So I'm using this blowtorch going nice and easy. I don't want to melt the thing. So you can see here it's kind of tightening up a little bit and it's coming into place right where it needs to be to hold everything together. This is the part that I'm always nervous about. I don't want to screw it up and have to just backtrack everything. But we got it done. Now I'm filling it up with oil. It takes half quart believe it or not just a half quart of oil and we're filling it up with some fresh gas and we're gonna get her going here so we're mounting it on the transom of the the four rivers boat here and i'm gonna be uh cranking it just a couple of times nice and light just pulling the rope not trying to start it i'm just trying to get that oil moving through and the gas moving through and getting it ready because I don't want to just rip it and try and get it going without any oil in the cylinder. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a few of those pulls, get things moving around, get it lubed up a little bit. And then we'll give it a pull and boom, it started on the first pull, which was pretty surprising. I thought it would take a few tries. So that is 
just fantastic to see. Started on the first pull, took the choke off, and it ran for a little while. So there we go, started on the first pull. It looks really good. It is just such a clean looking motor. Just check it out, it just looks delightful. They run really good, um, those Predator motors do. This kit, I haven't had any problems with it. It's a stainless steel prop. Don't know if I mentioned that or not, but you know, it went together pretty easy, all things considered, getting that keyhole lined up on the drive shaft there was just a little bit tricky, but not too bad. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys did, make sure to leave me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you on the next one.